side. What I'm going to do here is a pull test on number five epoxy coated rebar. It's for a, par for a project uh, detail that we're going to be extending the power pit curve. Right. Can you tell us about the, the, the tools that you're using? Yes, we're using a Power Team SPX uh, jack, it's a hydraulic jack. This is the uh, that's the head. So what we do is we place this off first, we pump it up, get it off the ground, then we install the anchor, not the anchor, but the head. So, then you have a wedge anchor, as you can see it's got a number 5, which gives you, tells you it's a diameter for a number 5 bar, yeah. and inside you got these little threads that catch you. Okay. So you slide the wedge anchor on, and what you'd like to do is just force it down evenly with a hammer, and lock it in, like so. And what we need to do, we have two valves here. And we need, we're going to have to shut the valve in order to pump up the hydraulic fluid to build up the appropriate pressure for this test, which will be 1,000 PSI. All right. So we want you to start pumping nice and slow. It's going to be gradually, slow. okay? Gradual and steady pressure. And what we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit over 1,000 Sometimes it does tend to slip. Right now we're approximately about almost 850. And one more should do it. One for good luck. Okay. Right now we're holding out exactly a thousand. I'm gonna give it one more pump, slipping a little bit. Now we're holding. We'll wait about 15 seconds. And it, the needle should not move, no. It should hold. If this was to fail, I would continue pumping and the needle would be fluctuating. And the bar itself would be lifting up as I'm pumping. And this is a good test. Yeah, so this, this is, is a successful test. Successful test. Thank you so much.